A volcano has erupted in the southwest Icelandic town of Grindavik, near the site of a previous eruption in December. Seismic activity has been, had been intensifying over the past several days, leading to, to the evacuation of residents of the small fishing town well in advance. Iceland is one of the Earth's most volcanically active areas, with an average of one eruption every four years. Well, for more on this, journalist Ingo Zigfusen joins us from the Icelandic capital. Reykjavik, thanks for being on uh, DW News. Ingo, dramatic pictures we're seeing here. Another volcano erupts near Reykjavik, where you are. So what more can you tell us? Well, this eruption started uh, fairly abruptly. Uh, authorities noticed around 3 o'clock this morning that uh, earthquakes were uh, intensif intensifying. They measured some 200 earthquakes, smaller ones and uh, rapidly moving towards the town of Grintavik. Now, of course, as you mentioned, the town had been uh, evacuated before Christmas when there was an eruption uh, close by, but uh, uh, some 200 people had returned. Some There were people in around 90 houses. So when Cyrus started blaring around 3 o'clock this morning, they all left fairly quickly. So at 8 o'clock uh, local time, so about three hours ago, when this eruption started, uh, nobody was around. Uh, this eruption seems to be uh, perhaps a quarter of the size and power of the eruption uh, a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, uh, as you can see from these pictures, it's much closer to, uh, well, in this case, a greenhouse, and about 400 meters further are the outskirts of the town of Grintavik. So if this right. keeps going, um, that would not be good news for uh, at least the infrastructure of the town. Well, tell us, how concerned are the authorities that this lava actually could enter uh, Grindavik and damage houses there? At this point, they are quite, actually quite uh, nervous about it. Uh, they are hoping that this will have a similar tempo, this eruption will have a similar tempo to the next last one. That one, within five hours, was already down to a quarter of its original size and productivity. Um, that would, of course, mean, considering that this is already a smaller eruption, that the lava flow would uh, would shrink and, and possibly not reach down, but everyone is preparing for it. Indeed, they had been preparing for it. Uh, in that picture of the greenhouse that we saw a little earlier, you could see the remnants of a uh, protective wall that was being built uh, to try to get the lava flow away from the town. Sadly, the fissure that formed uh, mm. went straight through, so the, the, it's actually crossing the barrier that was being built. Ingo, this is Iceland's fifth volcanic eruption in two years. Uh, what's it like for people trying to live their lives through all these eruptions? Well, if you're where I am about, well, I guess, somewhere between 30 and 50 kilometers a straight line from, from Grintavik and this eruption, it doesn't really impact you apart from it being sort of a an uncomfortable story on the news and you feel everybody knows someone in Grindavik. I mean, Iceland is a small country, everybody knows everyone. So you're aware of it, but it's not like it's an immediate danger to anyone who's not close by. Uh, you do feel sorry for the people of this town who are leaving their homes. You know, some of them have lived there for generation, uh, generations. And, and given the fact that in the last few days, just before this eruption, authorities were saying, actually, we're going to have to evacuate again because of the uh, various uh, rifts that we're seeing in town that may be covered by a sheet of grass or a little bit of asphalt. But on Wednesday, a gentleman who was working on, on reparation efforts actually uh, the ground simply gave and he fell into a what turned out to be a fairly large chamber uh, and disappeared and has not been found. And I think that scared the people who were in town a little bit, understandably. It's not a, it's not a comfortable place to be in right. if you're there. Everywhere else, uh, life just goes on. Well, hopefully there's a, a positive outcome uh, to this uh, latest uh, eruption. Thanks, Ingo, for uh, your update there. Journalist Ingo Zikfusen in Reykjavik.